everybody knows by now because it's been said enough times in just a few short days on October 30th I'm calling it quits and I'm done I'm retiring after 15 years in this wrestling business and I'm doing it here in my house my home the H2O Wrestling Center a building a warehouse to some people but to me it's a lot more than just a warehouse you know this is this is practically this is my living room this is where I spend hours upon hours each and every week training the future of pro wrestling at the H2O Wrestling Academy you know all the kids that you're hearing about right now within the independent wrestling world because they're doing things the right way because I was taught the right way and those kids are my world I will now live vicariously through them when I'm all done on October 30th but right now I'm still an in-ring competitor and I got one more match when I announced my retirement it was gonna be who is Matt Tremont gonna take on and then Ricky Shane Page sends a video to IWTV on my own pay-per-view event at Hustlemania last month when we were running outside while I'm waiting for the queue to start the show they have a video from RSP that airs for the whole world to see and he calls me out talks about dirt sheets and this was leaked and that was leaked and he said a lot of things and a lot of things he said made sense Ricky Shane Page is a smart man you know he said uh, he remembers toward him in a death when I stared him in the eyes and he felt that in the finals all those years ago. <laughs> RSP told me to kiss my wife one last time, to pet Sullivan one last time. Because on Devil's Night, he's going to put me out of my misery. And I want him to. I want you to, Ricky. I've been asking everybody for 15 fucking years to put me out of my goddamn misery. But I've come to the point in life and in this business, I am now finally at the point I am content that I can do what I need to do to take care of my family, to further this business and retire. I put myself in that position because I busted my ass. And Ricky Shane Page, you are the perfect man to retire me. But I'm not going down without a fight. This wasn't a baby face and a baby face meeting one-on-one -on -one in the ring, shaking hands and hugging. I didn't want that. You were chosen for a reason, brother. We all got history with one man, and it's the man that hangs on this fucking wall in this BAM building. Because Danny Havoc did so much for so many different people. He did a lot for myself, and he did a lot for you, Ricky. Last extravaganza weekend is for him. And I took it upon myself to say this is the show that I need to be done on. To move on in life, to move on in this business. And on night one of a weekend where we celebrate that man. Because if it wasn't for that man, I wouldn't be standing here right now in order to have a career to retire from. Friday, October 30th. I'm going to do what I've done for all these years one last time. Because every time I walk down that aisle, whether it was this building, whether it was the ECW arena, whether it was Kurugan Hall in Japan, I walked down that aisle and I gave 110%. And I performed and I fought with respect, with honor, with pride, deathmatch wrestling the right way I am gonna die on my shield on my cross on the day and the night of my last match I don't know if we're gonna wrap the ropes in barbed wire I don't know if we're gonna take them down and just have a no rope barbed wire I don't know how many goddamn light tubes we're gonna use doors, ladders, chairs, beds and nails. My mind is gone crazy. But it doesn't matter what we set up because the best that set it up will be here 
and they can do whatever they want. Ricky, again, remember that TOD and remember that moment when I stared down in your eyes and you felt something. You're gonna feel that again. But now I'm gonna turn the volume up even more because if you think that I'm gonna go out on my back and look at the bright lights, just easy like that, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna fight you with every last being, every last breath I've got inside of me. I owe it to my wife, I owe it to my students, I owe it to these fucking fans. I didn't want to retire, but I have to, because there's nothing left for me to do anymore. He's gone, and that eats at me every fucking day, and he ain't here, because all I ever did was try to impress him and hear him say how proud he was of me. So I am going to make him proud one more time when I fuck you up on October 30th. And I give these people what they paid to see one last time because they know I've busted my ass every goddamn time I step in that godforsaken squared fucking circle. I may go out, but I'm going to go out with a bang. And I'm going to do it with these fans that have supported me since day one. I'm gonna do it with the family that has supported me since day one. That locker room, the people that'll be here are here for a reason, here for purpose, purpose and passion, something that's missing in this fucking business. But not here, not at H2O, not on, not on that weekend. I do it for him, I do it for everybody. And I'm gonna do it for you, Ricky. There's a reason for everything in life and especially in this fucking wrestling business. There's a reason why you were the guy. You were the chosen one. You were on the marquee. You were on the t-shirt. You were on the poster. October 30th, in my ring, in my building, that I built, that I fucking laid the bricks in, this foundation, along with my students, with our bare hands and our hard work, our blood, our sweat, our tears, no one can take this from me. You know why? Because we did it ourselves and we did it the right way. And it's, you're going to have to kill me, and you know that, to put me out of my back, to look up at my own bright lights and say bye-bye. I've got one last great fight left in me, and you're getting it. I will see you October 30th. I will see everyone here on October 30th. And everyone watching on IWTV, I will see you as well. Because I write my final chapter in this great sport, written in blood. <laughs>